Hello, uh, my name is Brandon Thunder. I wasn't expecting to make this. I know I've most of you have probably had 800 for a while, but uh, I just checked this morning. I actually just I just started a day at a new school today since I have moved it currently recently, and I haven't had time to do much of anything. And I had that Jimmy Johnson schemes video out. May I had that made for a while actually ever since the day after Phoenix. The champ race so i thought what better way to celebrate my favorite driver of all times last race even though it is about a week late and 800 subscribers then doing a collection of all of my 164 die casts of jimmy johnson now i did a collection video roughly about three or four months ago has over 100 views. Thank you guys so much for that. I'll be doing an updated one around February. Once I get more for Christmas and my birthday. And probably more through that. And uh, I got an Authentics wall starting up too. So that should be great. And I got a bunch of older stuff I've been collecting too. I can't show you guys yet. But uh, once I get to it, I'll show you guys. So anyway, here it is. So starting up first, we have from the Lionel Classic Series. Jimmy Johnson's 19. 1998 first Bush Series start. Then we have his Excedrin red card, which he actually won his first ever Bush race at Chicagoland with. We have his Excedrin cooling pads. I got this from Ray both of these are from Racing Champions. This is from Lionel. And uh, here is the side view of it, just so you guys can see. There you go. Then we have his Power of Pride car, which he ran in 2001. I actually have this here, and right over here I have this sealed. So I have two of them. Then over here we have his Looney Tunes, Tweety and Sylvester, which he ran in 2002 at Richmond. And then we have his rookie car, which he drove to, uh, I think it was Fontana's first ever win. I have these two, like, mixed up. I need to swap them out. Then we have his 2003 Low Signature Series Spongebob car, which he ran in the 2003, I think it was the Summer Daytona race. Let me skip a few years ago in 2007, his Power of Pride car, which he ran in the 2007 Coca-Cola 600. That's how the Spongebob car looks. Then we have my favorite car. This is actually, as well as my rarest and most expensive, I had to pay 50 bucks for this. His 2009 championship raced version. And we have his 2010, I believe, Coke 600. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Then we have the 2011 Darlington race win for the 200th HMS career win. His 2013 Dover car, which I still believe he should have won, but he got botched for a restart that wasn't even his fault. And we got his 2014 Dover win. I got from both of these are from Spin Master. Everything from here down to here is Winter Circle. This is action. This I actually got this from a bud of mine named Matt. It is 2000 I think 14 Slow Spring is here car. I love the White Lightning cars. I know a lot of people don't because of the luck it, they supposedly gave them. This 2014 Lowe's Playoff car, which he ran at Talladega. And then his 2014 Texas race win. And then we have 2015 Justice Primary, which he ran throughout the year. A little scratched up. Got that from Matt as well. I got these two from Matt. And I got this from Matt, I got this from Matt, and I got another one from him as well. This is his 2015 Jimmy Johnson Foundation car, which he ran at Pocono later in the year. Now in the 2016, we have his 2016 Coca-Cola 600, and we have both champ cars. The Cobalt Tools version, which has no scratches on it, and then we have this, which has very much scratches on it. It's a little chipped. Is 2016 Lowe's version, the normal paint scheme, which he actually ran at Homestead. Then we're on to 2017, which is my favorite personal paint scheme that he ran after 2016. Because everyone knows after 2016, his paint scheme years weren't so much great. And this is my favorite out of them all. 
And then on to 2017 again. We have 2017 Cobra Cola 600 car. Here's 2017 Lowe's throwback. There's 2018 Lowe's for Pro's car, which has actually a very close second to this. I do love the Lowe's for Pro's cars. I know a lot of people hate it, but it grew on me quick. There's 2019 Focus Ally Authentics. Which he did win the Clash with this, and he did win the Texas Pole. Other than that, he didn't do crap. This is the final car I've gotten from Matt. It was a 2019 Ally throwback. It was trophy truck days in the 90s. And then finally for the Authentics, we have... is 2020 Ally Primary. So, first of all, I want to thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers. Never thought in a million years I would even get to this point. And I know to a lot of big YouTubers this means nothing. But to me, just doing this for the fun of it, just loving the sport I grew up with, and just showing off stuff that I feel like I want to, just doing my own thing, really. And to get 800 plus people that enjoy that, it just honestly means the world to me. I go, I go to a high school that has less than a thousand kids in it, and it's actually less than 800, and to think I have more people watching my channel than I do that go to my high school, it's just, if you think about that and the comprehension of it just means so much to me. And I gotta thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart, and I can't wait till we get 900, and then the big four digit number, 1000. So for now, this has been my 800 subscribers special. I hope you guys are doing good in all this crazy ass times that have been going on. I have some videos planned before the end of the year. And if I'm slow, that's because school, I've been doing a lot with school. I've been meeting a person personally that I feel like is more important than YouTube. I think you guys can understand that, family as well. And just like, honestly, YouTube just hasn't crossed my mind a lot. And when I get the idea, I typically do it. So, I have some ideas planned, just haven't had the time to do it. And, uh, thank you guys for watching so much. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Adios.